Hey, welcome to NEV Physics. I am Sunil Saha. And in this video, I have tried to explain about electric field and electric lines of force in a very simple way using sufficient simulations. Please stick to the video till the last to have a good concept of electric field and electric lines of force. Now let's move to the content. To understand electric field and electric lines of force, it's very important to understand test charge. The test charge is nothing but a very small positive charge such that it cannot affect the electric field in which it is placed. It means that the test charge is so small in magnitude that it ideally does not have its own electric field. So when it is placed in the electric field of some other charge, it cannot affect it. The test charge is just used to test or find the electric field of some other charge. The test charge is generally represented as Q0. Now let's understand what is electric field. Electric field is a region of space around a charge where a test charge can experience attractive or repulsive force. It basically means that a region is formed in space around a charge such that when we keep a test positive charge in that region, the test charge will either experience the force of attraction or repulsion. If it is a positive charge, then the electric field is formed such that when a test positive charge is kept in it, it experiences the force of repulsion. Whereas a negative charge will develop electric field such that when a test charge is kept in it, it experiences the force of attraction. The electric field is a vector quantity and the magnitude and the direction of electric field is represented by capital E which is called the electric field intensity or electric field strength. Now it is quite difficult to visualize the electric field around the charge. So to make it easier, we apply the concept of electric lines of force. Now let's understand the electric lines of force and how it helps to visualize the electric field. Electric lines of force are the paths that a test charge would follow when placed in an electric field. We already know that in the electric field of a positive charge, the test charge will experience force of repulsion. And during repulsion, the test charge will follow a certain path. And all these possible paths that a test charge would follow during repulsion are represented by lines with arrowhead which are called electric lines of force. Similarly, we also know that in the electric field of a negative charge, the test charge will experience force of attraction. And during attraction, the test charge will follow a certain path. And all these possible paths that a test charge would follow during attraction 
are represented by lines with arrowhead, which are also electric lines of force. Now let's see the nature of electric field formed when a positive and a negative charge are kept close. In this case, the electric field is formed such that when a test charge is placed in this electric field, it mostly follows curved path. And all the possible paths that test charge would follow make this pattern of electric lines of force. Now let's see the nature of electric field formed when two positive charges are kept close. In this case, all the possible paths that a test charge can follow make this pattern of electric lines of force. If you are finding the videos useful, please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also press the bell icon for the notification of upcoming videos.